420 workers at Fort Worth Molson Coors Brewery went on strike in February. The strike has now entered its second month, with workers saying there is no end in sight. Irving Mejia Aladio covers business for the Dallas Morning News and is here to talk about his recent visit with those striking workers. Irving, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Deborah. So let's go back to February. Let's hit the basics first. What sparked the strike? Well, two things, really. This is a strike about uh, a pay raise and the elimination of a tiered health care retirement benefit system. Um, at the moment, the company, I think, is offering workers a 99 cent pay raise over three years, and workers have been pretty frustrated by that. And instead, they sent them a, another proposal offer, um, which we don't know the exact details of just yet, but it was sent in about a week and a half ago, and Molson Coors is still not responding to that just yet. So uh, the question being, you know, what is this about? Workers want more money, and they want to get rid of this tiered uh, health care retirement benefit system that they're currently working with. So, so we know that it's affecting these 420 workers who are on strike. Who else is this impacting? Well, I guess luckily for us, you know, this isn't a, a UAW strike situation where we're talking about thousands of workers on strike. Like you mentioned, it's just 420 workers, right? So as far as who's this affecting, it's pretty much just kept to the 420 workers that are on strike. And then, of course, Molson Coors themselves. We're not going to see like any shortage just yet of like Coors Light or Topo Chico or Simply Juices. Um, but as far as the workers go, you know, they're having to live off of a significantly smaller salary. They're used to making 27 to 35 an hour, and they're only making now about $1,000 a week from the union. And then, of course, now Molson Coors had to implement sort of a contingency plan to make sure that the distribution of their products wouldn't be disrupted. And, and then the, the plant is still producing beer because there's temporary workers in there. Yeah, correct. They're hiring temporary workers right now at, I think, a salary starting at 26 an hour with another $200 in attendance pay. So they're still producing stuff right now, but it's definitely been a bit rockier than normal. You visited with these workers just a couple of days ago. What's the level of frustration, any signs that they're willing to give up the strike or, or this impasse will end? It's, it's tough to say right now, you know, as far when I was talking with workers, you know, it, uh, they were telling me that this thing might end, you know, within this month. But when I was out there uh, last month, you know, they were telling me, hey, this thing might end within two weeks and we might get this thing wrapped up pretty quickly. So it's really tough to say when this thing is exactly going to end. Uh, workers, you know, have been telling me that, like, they're not going to back off on this thing. And I think it depends really on two things, right? Is the Molson Coors contingency plan of uh, importing stuff, you know, from kind of all over the country, like Milwaukee, like, for example, right? Is that going to keep working out for them? And then second, you know, can workers keep living off this thousand dollars a week? Uh, it's tough to say how long this thing is going to last exactly, maybe within the month. But we did think this thing would end last month and it's still going on. So, yeah, tough to predict. Yeah, definitely. So, all right, Irving Mejia Ladio, thank you so much uh, for joining us and giving us the update on what's happening there at the plant in South Fort Worth. And you can read more of Irving's work right now on DallasNews.com.